Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, I am Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. Today we are going to focus on the one product, above all else that I saw in the store, okay? What do we have? We have appliances, we have grills, outdoor kitchens, dabble a little bit in the electronics as well. If there's one product above all that I love the most and I think is the best and that just absolutely blows my mind more so than anything else, I'm sitting next to it right now, okay? A Memphis wood fire grill, okay? So let's, let's talk about this. Uh, first of all, to call this a grill is doing it a disservice because it's not a grill. It's, it's, it is a grill, but it's also a smoker and it's also an outdoor oven, okay? And um, one thing about grills is that they all have their strengths and they're all gonna have their weaknesses. So let's just take a gas premium grill, i.e. a Lynx, an Alfresco, a DCS, Great temperature control, get the very high, you know, you can get high heat, it's great for searing, but what if you wanted to smoke on it, okay? Um, the Alfresco has some ways to get around that, so I'm gonna take that out of the equation, but these other gas premium grills, I, uh, I mean, if you wanna smoke, I mean, let's go hearken to the words of the great sage, Steve Reichlin, who when asked, uh, what is your advice on how to smoke on a, uh, a gas grill? He says, my advice is simply this, don't do it. Okay, so even the Kamados, the Kamados have their issues in the sense that, you know, it takes a while to get it started up. Um, and some people, my wife included, thinks that um, the Kamado, the food sometimes comes out too smoky, okay? Um, I don't know if I really agree with that, but, uh, so the point I'm trying to get at here is that every grill in this store has a strength and may potentially have a weakness involved with it as well. The Memphis just brings it all. This is, this is just absolutely mind-bending insanity, okay? Because what this does is, okay, it, 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 it will smoke. That's really what it's known for. But you can grill and sear on this as well, and we're going to talk about that. And you can also use it as an oven to boot. When people come in and they see this, the first reaction is, what planet did this come from? This is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just, it's like a freak show. There's nothing else in here that looks like this. I've never seen a grill like this. It actually looks like a DeLorean, okay? A DeLorean. You remember that car from the 1980s, folks? Um, um, I'm proud to wear my 80s badge on my collar, my lapel. Um, but anyway, right off the bat, the aesthetics behind this is just a draws people to it and they start asking about the gas, about the charcoal and it's like, whoa, it doesn't need that. It doesn't run on gas, it doesn't run on charcoal, it runs on electricity, okay, like an oven. So you simply plug it into a 110 volt, any electrical outlet you may have outside and then all you need are the, the flavored wood pellets and they come in a variety of flavors, cherry, alder, hickory, maple, mesquite, oak and um, you're in business. You're done, okay? So uh, you're cooking, and the beautiful thing about this is that it doesn't take um, a tremendous amount of attention to ace things. Um, I'm gonna, right now, compare and contrast this to a Kamado. Whether you're using a Kamado Joe, a Primo, an egg, there is a degree of handiwork that has to be involved in getting it to be where it needs to be. You have to go adjust the air, the vents, the air damper, on the top, on the bottom, um, not with this guy. This guy is what we call set it and forget it. There is a intelligent temperature control that's on the side of it. And just like an oven, again, you set the temperature and you are good to go. There are meat probes that come with it as well. That, so it really, I mean, it really takes the whole uh, act of grilling or searing or smoking or whatever you're doing and it just makes it almost idiot proof. the questions that crop up you know how long does it take to heat up and is it like the Kamado where it's going to take a half an hour to 45 minutes hell no it all depends on the ambient temperature outside but you're probably looking on the average I can if I'm normally cooking at about 400 degrees or so on this I'll be at that within 10 minutes um, people have also asked how does it hold the temperature listen there's a lot of stuff online there have been studies there's actually a guy I think he did a video on YouTube where he attached his laptop to it and he monitored the temperatures and it held within a very short uh, range of, 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 of temp readings 
And uh, so it, it, it absolutely does hold its temperature, so the intelligent temperature control um, does not lie. Um, I've asked, you know, how long does the, do, do the pellets last? A bag of pellets, it's a 20 bag, I think it's a 20 pound bag of pellets. That's going to what be the equivalent of, say, buying a 20 pound propane tank. So, uh, but the nice thing about it is if you do need to refill, the auger is in the back and very accessible. Uh, whereas, you know, on a, on a gas grill, if you're loading up the smoker box, you got to open grates up, move food aside. And even on the Kamado, it could be a little challenging at times to refill for those very, very, very long cooks. They were based, by the way, they're not in Memphis, they are in Minnesota. So it is 100% American, you know, engineered, assembled, made, what it produced. And um, uh, what I love about it is the fact that it is built like an absolute tank. Um, it has double walled stainless. Okay, and the interesting thing about it, which you probably can't see from here, but I'll, 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 I'll actually have a uh, photograph. There's a, there's a gasket running along the rim of the hood over here. So that takes it into that oven territory, because who has gaskets? Ovens do. And why do they have it? They have it for insulation. Because what I am asked, another question that pops up a lot for a customer say is just trying to decide between a Kamado and a Memphis, they'll say, well, the Kamado, whether it's an egg or Prima or, or Joe, you know, they're, um, they're so well insulated because of the ceramic construction. And I say, absolutely, absolutely the best at retaining moisture and that, 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 that cooking environment that you want. But this guy, even though it's stainless, it does retain the moisture because of the gasket over here. Now, does it do, it as, does, does it do as good of a job as the Kamado? I mean, probably not because it's not ceramic. But having this on here and having the double walled stainless is phenomenal and does the job. Um, there are a lot of different accessories you can get with this. You can get different cooking racks, uh, larger cooking racks. You can get more meat probes if you want. Um, the thing that really sells it to me, it's the construction, um, the, 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 the craftsmanship behind this. If you run your finger around this, I mean, it's just there are no burrs. The stainless is not choppy at all or, you know, cut the wrong way. It's just they just did an incredible job uh, putting this together. And um, the, the intelligent temperature control, which they changed this year, um, what they did is they had an older one and they gave uh, a grill to Steve Reichlin to use on Project Smoke in 2015. So he was kind of like a beta tester for the new temperature control. So those models are out now and everybody's, you know, they're raving about them. Uh, the temperature control is more precise and now what they did is they built Wi-Fi into it as well. So why do we like Wi-Fi with a grill? Well, let's just say that you are making a uh, whether it's, I don't know, a spatchcock chicken or a pork butt or whatever it may be, now you can insert the meat probe and you, you don't have to sit in front of the grill with an ice cold whatever in your hand and monitor it for hours. You can walk away. You have an, uh, a Memphis Grill app on your, I on your phone. Um, I was going to say iPhone, but I think it's for Android as well. And you can monitor the cook on your phone. You can see the internal temperatures rise, the temperature within the grill itself. So they really um, allow you, it's, it's actually quite liberating. It is liberating uh, uh, grilling. I mean, it, it, it's, it truly is because you don't have to stand on top of it. And some guys do. I mean, I appreciate the fact that there are some people out there that want to use a stick burner. They want to be on top of the grill. They want to be drinking. They want to drink their bourbon on a hot day and uh, and just work it. And there's something, and that's you know the primal aspect of grilling, which I totally appreciate. I love, you know, when I work my Kamado, I get into that mode, and I will be getting. I mean, I've been actually trying to turn my alfresco into a stick burner recently, so it's like I can totally appreciate that primal caveman essence of grilling. But there is something also to be said about doing this in a cleaner fashion, liberating you to do other things, to kick back and just know that you're being driven home by the computer. Now, could the computer fail? Well, of course it can. But I mean, you know, right now with all the cooks that I've done, with my, that my customers have done, and just been talking to people in Memphis, these things are, they're not bulletproof, but, and listen, if they do fail, they'll get replaced. There is a limited warranty on it, I believe. Lifetime warranty, I think, on the grill, and then a limited warranty on the, t uh, on the digital control. Listen to this. Senora Smoke, the appliance dude asks my wife. Um, she is the uh, beneficiary of all these grills and all this cooking that I do. And out of all the grills that I've owned over the past year, and it is her opinion that the food tastes the best coming off this. Folks, that's very important. And fellas, 
who come in here and there are guys that have come in here and said, you know, my wife, I don't know, the smoker, they don't like the food coming out too smoky. The wife plays a very, very important role in this purchase, okay? Uh, they're gonna love it, they're gonna love it. And I speak from the heart and out of experience. Um, that's it, please come down and visit us. Check out the Memphis Grill here. And uh, if there's any questions, you know where to reach me, jonathanacurtos.com. And uh, look for a lot of videos coming up, and these are gonna be more hands-on cooking. Thank you. <laughs>